Okay, oop, I didn't clear it for my last problem. There we go. I find myself loving to do this with my my beads, run them, run my hands over them. Anyway, okay, we are going to do a multiplication problem with fractions here, and I'm using a method from The Abacus Made Easy by David L. And what we need to do is totally different from what we did with addition and subtraction of our fractions. So I'm going to start by setting my numerators on the left-hand side of my abacus and the denominators on the right-hand side of my abacus. So I'm going to start by setting two-thirds. I'm going to set the two on the far left-hand side and the three-thirds on the far right-hand side. Next, I'm going to set the six-sevenths. I'm going to skip two rods on the left-hand side of my abacus. And I'm going to start by setting the six in the units rod of the billions period. Set six there. Likewise, for the denominator, I'm going to start on the right-hand side. I'm going to skip two rods, and I'm going to set the denominator seven on the thousands period, the thousands rod. All right, now we're going to do our multiplication. I'm over here on the far left-hand side. I'm working at multiplying two times six. I know two times six is 12, so I'm going to clear my abacus and set 12. I'm going to come over to my right hand side of my abacus and I'm going to multiply 7 times 3. I know 7 times 3 is 21 so I can clear these numbers and set 21. All right now I can read my answer my product which is going to be 12 over 21 and that's how I do a multiplication problem on my abacus using um, the method from The Abacus Made Easy by David L.